Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we created this stone line. This stone train line to help with the trucks, and I think it is working pretty well. Full load, still lots of stone waiting to get hauled around. And it's the first time I've seen that uh, the combination of trucks and trains, like they supplement each other in terms of delivering the necessary stone to the destination, to the Conmats plant here. And I think it's working pretty well for us. The demand is 5k, we are creating 3,900. A little bit of uh, stone to spare. Yeah, I think we can do a bit better, but overall it works pretty nice. Now thank you for the comments by the way, and thank you for all the likes, and uh, thank you for still uh, liking the series. This is season 3 already, and uh, still a lot of people have been enjoying it. Thanks a lot guys. Now I did ask something about this one. Um, if you remember in the previous episode there was a train which uh, like ignored the signal and just went through and they caused each other to get stuck. So I missed something and thank you Vladislav for pointing this out. So apparently I had a signal here as well which I forgot about this one. And that's why that other train was continuing here which was a cause of uh, possible conflict possible uh, slowdown yeah possible uh, deadlock so now that's deleted he should follow the signal once again stop there when a train is here and just go forward when the train leaves already right anyway in this episode a couple of people have requested new industries new uh, ventures so to speak because uh, we've been optimizing our existing line for quite some time and although it's fun to optimize, it's also fun to explore new areas and uh, explore and uh, utilize more of the map. Let me just do a quick check. Yeah, that's good. Fine. All right. So what I had in mind, and let me, let me know what you think about this. I was looking around and I wanted to try out the new fuel industry. Well, it's not new, but it, there are new uses for it. So I see there is a an oil well here, near toaster. So I was thinking, we could ship that all the way here, which is the nearest uh, refinery. Create some fuel or oil, well fuel mainly. That fuel can be shipped directly to cities, right? Yeah, that's an end product for improving the industries, the jobs. So the cities, we have two immediate cities where we can ship it by truck maybe. And in, the, in addition, we also have this uh, raceway, which I really want to see how it works because this is part of the, the extra industries mod. Or how do you see that? New industries mod. So it takes in fuel. It's like an end product as well, an end, uh, end of the supply chain. So you ship it there, it consumes it, and it does nothing. So you basically just earn money to deliver fuel there, just like a city. Yeah. In addition, there is one more here. You can deliver fuel. And uh, there is nothing produced. So it's, it's like, a, like the raceway, like a city. So basically, we have four possible delivery points just in this area. Just by trucks, we can do that. Every, we can do everything like that. So it's going to be humongous. The only trick, the only challenge I'm seeing is how do we get the crude to the refinery? Because it's a bit uh, hilly. <laughs> I guess that's an understatement. It's a bit hilly. We could go north like this. So cross the fields. Maybe remove some of these fields. If you see where my mouse is. Cross over like that. Pass through Rugli. Rugili. Yeah. Oh, that, that might be a thing, actually. We can go through there. Pass through Rugli. Deliver the crude. At the same time, we can go back. Drop off the fuel. And then go here. So it will be like a one and a half way trip so going forward the train is carrying crude going back it's carrying fuel until rugly it will drop that off and then it will go back and rinse and repeat that might be a thing actually that might be a thing i was also thinking of something uh, like a passenger route which will take like connect toaster to osset and uh, northage but that's a different path altogether, like this way. I think I'd like to prioritize that fuel line because it's very interesting. I haven't really tested out the mod yet that much. 
So I think that's what we'll be doing either this episode or in the next one because uh, I'm, I'm still seeing a huge bottleneck here with this one with the con mats and I'm thinking we have to convert that into trains finally because right now they're still being shipped by trucks even though we have so many trucks here it's still not enough they're just too slow if we ship them by train I think it would be perfect yes and yeah, part of the bottleneck is these are these uh, tracks here, so they have to stop every time there are trains, and uh, that's like two intersections right there where they're getting bottleneck. We can make that into a bridge, but I think it's just just it'll be just much easier if we just uh, create a, a train line here. And what I was thinking of is utilizing this line, since this existing track is here already, might as well utilize it because we have a train station here. What I can do is I can just add one platform in this station, like like uh, that. Yes, make a make a bumper depot here, like so. Do you repeat this again? Okay, like that, and connect this to the existing track here, and that will immediately already connect us to the city although I might add another platform here if that's okay that kind of works but it's in a different direction that means we might have to change some things here yeah all right let me do that let me try that out all right and let me see if I can change this all right I know that will remove stuff Hang tight, guys. Hang tight. I'll take care of you. So this one, be there. And this one, continue off. I guess you can branch out from here. Yes, connect there. Perfect. All right, good. And then let's link them. Let's have signals here. This one signal I think is okay. And we need one more in there. That signal is actually wrongly placed, huh? This should be like over here, just so the train wouldn't block the road there in case it needs to stop. All right. And I think we need a signal here too, because we delete deleted some of them. Here before the merge and that one I think it's fine okay good so that connects us to this new platform we have a spare one now that means we should be able to on sec remove that make this connect directly it should, this should be a textbook like uh, I always forget the terms guys double crossing no uh, X crossing I don't know. But you guys know what this gets called, right? One sec, I'll show you. That one. And that one. There we go. Exactly. There we go. Yeah, so they can both go both ways. Right? So this train is going that way. That means we have another platform, which is uh, possible for our freight train. And since it's just dropping things off, it's not picking up anything can actually be dropping off on a passenger station. That shouldn't be that bad, I think. Good. I hope no one's stuck. All right, it seems like no one is stuck. Good. All right, so now let's connect this to the existing line. Wait a minute, can I, can I switch it? No, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so this one, if I want to connect here, I can just do it like that. It shouldn't be that bad. And then I can just merge into the existing track like so. I guess, maybe not. Doesn't want to. <laughs> it absolutely doesn't want to. I think it's confused, like what the heck are you trying to do? Well, it, it, can, it can go that way, so maybe let's go do that step by step, right? Yeah. 
so maybe let's do it like that make it as uh, gradual as possible yeah that would be okay we fast forward the game as well so we continue earning money and th there we go exactly that's what I was thinking of we have to turn on the signal so you know where the signals are yeah okay all right um, if we're crossing that way I think I'd want to uh... one sec let's go straight here oh I think I can do this 62 though 63 that's a very sharp turn that's a very sharp turn let me see we'll have to destroy some signals here one sec remove those signals because those are just going to confuse us okay so now we're unimpeded by existing signals let's focus on creating the actual the correct track here 62 that's the best i can offer no i can actually extend it a bit more yeah that one works good so that connects there and on this other side oh, that's interesting okay so that means oh okay that's cool actually all right one sec let's build some signals so we need the signal here before that intersection we need a signal here yeah i think that's good enough isn't it? We need one more here. Just so it knows when to merge or not. I think that should be good. I hope that's correct. Alright, so let's make a line. Let's see how this works. Create a new line from here to here. There we go. Exactly. That's what I was hoping for. You're utilizing that, but I don't want you using that one. It's only using one line from for both ends because I think I have to switch this. I have to make this a double slip switch, is it? That one? Exactly. Now it works. Perfect. That was interesting. So see the difference here. By default, that's how it looks. Making it a double slip switch makes allows this uh, track to also go to that right side, I think. Yeah. So see there is now additional lines here which makes this track over here move to that side to the right. Normally, it was only going straight like that in the middle. So now it's utilizing both uh, lines exactly, but it's dropping off on a different platform. Perfect. Okay, love that. Good. All right, so this would be the CONMATS line. Train CONMATS. Uh, Farnham. Good. Now we just need the train. Alright. Let's unpause the game. Let's see how that works. And hopefully that doesn't cause too much slowdown for our, uh, for our train. Now, existing trains in the line. Let me have a look at you guys. Top speed is 60. Mediocre power rating. So we should match that speed more or less. And so, let's take, uh, let's see, 75. A PLM 220 might work. It looks like exactly what we're looking for. Tractive effort is not the best, but I mean, it's a flat surface. And it's pretty light, considering. Yeah, let's take a PLM 220. And then for wagons, we need uh, boss. Steak cars, was it? Conmats, yes. We need four. Yeah, we can you go with that or that. I think this one is better in terms of uh, the the uh, weight, the, the capacity versus the uh, price. I think let's just max that out to three twenty. So I'm sure it could do all the help. And then go with uh, train conmats line. There you go. We haven't named this yet. Interesting. Let's name that. Oh, this is actually longer. This is 380 meters. 
the other one is uh, 360 meters okay it's fine different length of because they have different wagons this is train stone the other one yeah good so this should be in catchment of that and so that should mean we have everything we need right there so that means I should be able to sell my trucks why are you not producing anything did I destroy the, the did I destroy the line or something the, the con mats demand suddenly went down so I'm a bit afraid what happened this is encatchment of everything so when the when the con mats are dropped here that should be encatchment of this train station yeah so that should be able to pick up the con mats and it should be encatchment of this one as well yeah looks like I hope it is uh, is that considered as encatchment I guess so huh okay good okay so there is actually nothing in here now let me do something radical let me is that that one no the corn mats farm on this one so I sell all of you <laughs> sell all of you bye and remove that line altogether so now this guy should force uh, be forced to put con mats on the other side but why isn't it doing anything did I miss something guys as always wait a minute this one is it catchment of that one so you should be producing con mats but yeah, it was not... The demand disappeared. Let's wait for the next month. Yeah, that's fine. Let's wait for the next month. Let's go and check out first this one. Yeah, okay. So it's passing through there. You Reusing the existing line. It is a bit fast. 60, yeah, it's, it's, it's no problem. You can actually go top speed. And then it will drop off here. Unload stuff. on this other side of the platform oh crap I didn't anticipate this yeah it's too long for this platform actually yeah I forgot about that hmm that means the crossing should be here way earlier I think yes let's do that because the the train is too long. That's good, at least we saw it now. There we go. Do that crossing there. Uh, let's put a signal right here before the merge. And uh, I don't think we need that anymore. In here, yes, we can have the signal right before the, the road, I guess. Right? So that means... Hmm, I, maybe I should delete this as well. So that means, yeah, there you go. So from here, they split already. That might be a bit of bottleneck here, but I mean, that shouldn't be that bad. I hope. And let's remove that one over here. Right? So in terms of signals, we have, uh, should be set. Right, good. Let's go back to this one. Okay, there you go. Now the con mats are filling up on this uh, line here. Perfect. All right. So this one we delete. No longer need that. Let's see. Yeah, the demand has come back up. Perfect. Five thousand again. And now everything is going via trains. So our train is actually where? It's here. Reinforcements are coming. Can carry 172. That's perfect. Top speed all the way. Actually, will not be a full train, interestingly enough. Yeah. Filling it up. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that is such a... That is so much better than having so many trucks. Huh? My goodness. 
Look at this, he's a happy bunny. Seems like something broke off though, 3,700. It was 5,000 before, but maybe that got filled. Don't tell me we also need that to make that into a train. Oh. No. <laughs> no, maybe we just need more trucks here. Yeah, here. Let me add some. Should have a depot over here. Let me add some... Uh, was, it, was it this one, the Kahnstadt that we had? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add you to the toaster conmats line. Good. Look at this. Yeah, that is just insane. Yeah, that's going to get full pretty quickly. Right. That's good. Alright, no, no problems there. Even though the train itself is longer than the platform, since we extended the, the crossing, there is no conflict. Right, that's perfect. Now we have so many in here, but I don't see any conmats in here. So I'm not sure if that means this is not in catchment of that, and if this is causing a problem. Yeah, because I see it's there, but it might be just edging it, you know? I'll have to, I'll have to check. The next time the conmats train arrives from here, let's see, how many is that? 240, my goodness. That's a full train. That's a full train. Yes. That looks so good. We might need two trains here if that continues. But we'll see. We will see. I hope not. I hope we don't need it. Good. So let's wait for one train and then let's move on to the new venture. The new oil line. Yeah, but it's nice. It's it's a nice feeling being able to reuse existing tracks, even at the cost of a bit of slowdown right there. But it's very practical, right? I mean, in the real world, that's how it works. You can't just put tracks every time you have a new line. You have to maximize the use of your tracks because it's so expensive. Look at that. The train is actually slowing down a bit. There you go. All right. Dropping it off. Actually, that was my fear. I don't think this is in catchment of the con mats anymore. Because absolutely no no con mats have been delivered here. Alright, that's a problem. That is a problem. That means we'll have to think of something. So this one is in catchment. Barely in catchment. What if we change this? What if I make this shorter? Let me see. If I connect you like in there, will that change anything? So if I click on that, no, it's it's the same thing. Okay, because sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. How do I connect this to that? Well, I could maybe relocate this to here. Right? Yeah, I could make this closer. Like, if I delete that, I make a new truck stop like here. Just make it closer like that. That should already be something. So this is now in catchment of that for sure. Yes. This is still in catchment of that train. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's that looks better. And the line is still okay, it found that line. Okay, good. So it's a bit longer, but it should be in catchment now. So later on it should be fine, I think. And they're waiting on each other. That's fine. That's fine. You good? You're good. All right. Awesome. <laughs> that looks so cool. All right. How much? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. 313. All right. Yeah, we might need a new train later on. But let's leave that for now. And then let's uh, explore this. So we need to get there. Hmm. First we make a, a station here and then we make a station there. That shouldn't be impossible. And uh, even though we have some hard contours here, if you look at the height, at the mouse cursor here, where my mouse is, you can actually see it's... Uh, 
going a bit lower. So even though there's like a hard line there, it doesn't seem like it's too it's too much. Yeah. We'll see that in a bit, but let me humor me for a second, guys, alright? Because I'm really interested to see if uh, I fixed the CONMATS problem already. Who will go first? Our train, the freight train, or the passenger train? Of course, the freight train. <laughs> you guys, wait a second. That's awesome. Love that. Okay, good. So this guy... Speeding up. Crossing over here. Actually, I'm seeing a... Maybe this one is not... Oh man, he cost us a full stop. No, can go 72 here. So speed is not a problem. It's just he's really slowing down. Because he's uh, f uh, too heavy. Okay. So now this should be in catchment of the conmats, I hope. So now... Crap, still nothing. Maybe one more round, I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me have a look at the conmats here. Farnham, 180 out of 94. Yeah, look at how low that is. And this one will have to step up the trains. That one is too short now. Maybe we can have two of them. This mogul train here. Yeah, I think we'll have to step it up. Because that will not take care of the those 200. Yes, uh, let's add one more train here. Let's copy this exact one. Are you there? Good. Okay, so you're basically a mogul and you're 158 meters long. Right, let's get a mogul and make it 158 meters long. Let's take cars. Is that right? There you go, exactly. Should I get two of them? I guess I could. But no, let's do it one step at a time. Because my fear here is mainly it's going to be get pretty crowded in this line. We might need separate tracks here. Tracks for passengers and tracks for freight. Okay, good. Alright, alright. So let's see. Let me have a look at the, <coughs> the Conmat's demands here. 4748. That has increased. But it's still not 5000. It was previously 5000. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at this. This is just spewing out so much. I think I need one more train like this. But if I do that, then it will extend. Yeah, the, the bottleneck will move and move. So yeah, it seems like we have to focus on this one first before we venture to the next line. But I think it's a good start. Yeah, I think it will be better overall if we just separate this. It shouldn't be that expensive anyway. And that will allow us even more leeway. We can make the platforms longer. We can make the... Yeah, actually. That would be very nice. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. So if I make this quadruple tracked, and I make this... Uh, can I make this double track? I had... I was afraid that wasn't possible. Okay, we, we stick with that. But in here, we double track this entire thing. Yeah, so we don't share this line at all. I think that will work the best. Right now though, it seems like we are stepping down a bit. We are uh, removing the bottleneck a bit. So that looks good. Yeah, and the next one arrives. Yeah, that's, that's okay from that end but from this one not really all right let's get a new train here <laughs> uh we we got a plm 220 right plm 220 fill that with stake cars until it's 380 meters long Oof, this is expensive but this is going to be well worth it 316 yes conmats farnham yep that's the one We'll pick two trains. 
And yeah, let's overpower the entire thing here. Still no con mats in here. Let me have a look. This truck farm is a bit dubious to me. See, they're not earning anything anymore. Why? They are dropping off stuff here in Kingsway, where there is huge area for con mats for industrial. It covers the entire way, so that is not the problem. But this one, yeah, you can see the catchment there. It is in catchment. Unless that second street connection doesn't work, but I doubt it. Let's see now. Come on. There we go. Okay, it works now. There was just a bit of delay before. Nice. Alright, I'm happy. I'm happy. Good. No more left over there. And the next uh, freight is coming. Awesome. And there's still what? How much in there? 385? <laughs> this is beautiful. <sighs> My eyes are tearing up with how beautiful this is. But yeah, look at that. This one is really causing a bit of delay already. Even this one is. Yeah, so we might need to separate them. It's, it's fun to see them merging, but it's not really practical. I mean, it's practical, but it's not really the most efficient, right? It's not the most effective, rather. So let me do this. Let me extend that all the way here. And just double track it all the way. Quadruple tracking. Go there. And then we say... Okay, we extend that a bit more. We delete this one. So that it wouldn't come into conflict with the road. And then we delete this connection totally. One sec. Delete that, delete this. Delete that, right? Yes. So we connect this instead here. Actually, you know what? Start from the beginning. Really connect that from here. Beautiful. And this one, just go there. Actually, we can make this longer now. But we can't really make the other side longer, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So maybe what we do is just make the merge much earlier. Like here. That will allow the trains to be a lot longer. Like there. Yeah, so the train can be like that long. That can work. That will give us a bit of leeway. Okay, good. Let me just copy the different signals here. Actually, I have to copy it like that, I realized. So we don't block the road, even though there's really not a problem with it. But just keeping it realistic. Small country road, close that off. Too much slow. That works. Right? Yeah, and they should be able to cover that, I think. Yeah, that's the one. So the crossing works perfect. The signals, I just basically copy in here. Maybe it shouldn't be the other way, yeah, but it's fine. It's kind of confusing, I guess, if you're the one driving. Seeing that one blocking your, your view. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Okay, and one more here. And here. And one more. Okay. And then we delete this part as well. Oh crap, they have to get into this place first. Alright, so maybe we don't delete the existing line, but we connect to it. Is that possible? One sec. How do we do this? Let's uh, do a 
an ugly merge in here just to make sure that we're not cutting people off like that super ugly turn like so yeah does that work why doesn't it work train 11 where are you going oh because he's there he's on the other side yeah we have to add a merge a temporary merge in here like uh, that maybe yeah that way yeah right so let's see how that works that should uh, fix this now here these lines are using this one ready that's perfect okay good good I guess what we can do is also make a line connecting this one to that one. Just so these trains can move on to their right lane. Right lanes. Yes, and let's delete this one already. <clears throat> delete that. I think that's it. Remove that. And now we should be able to... Let's see. How far should we do this? I guess that way. So we basically connect it like so. <clears throat> and uh, connect you... Over here. It's a bit of a far uh, merge to allow longer trains basically. Signal there. Yeah. And signal here, I guess. That should be okay. Maybe. Right. That works. Now let's see how it goes. I hope you take this turn. Yes, you can. Yes, you will. Thank you. Good. So they're using the new lines. Passenger trains are unimpeded. They are not sharing anything anymore. Beautiful. Okay, so that means I should be able to remove this again. Yes. Alright, that looks good. And this one I should be able to remove as well. So now they should be totally independent from each other. The only ones sharing are the food and con mats lines. But that should be fine as well. Beautiful. Ooh, new wagons. Hopper wagon. That looks very cool. I wonder if that's from a mod. Right, so... So far that's actually looking pretty good, huh? Full? What happened to my train now? So many in there. So many con mats waiting. Am I... Okay, this is full. That's good. Lots of con mats in here. Actually, look at that. Alright, fine. Full train. That's perfect. Actually, this one... Oh man, that's bad timing. Wasn't able to carry anything with him. But that's fine, that happens. Alright, and the other freight train is coming full again. Alright, that is very good. We might need two trains here eventually. Let's look at that. Demand died. But overall, it's working. Alright? Overall, it's working. So I think I'm pretty happy with that now. So let's start on this. I think we ha still have a bit of time. And then let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Let's add the train station first. Let's see. Ooh, parallel tracks. I haven't been able to test those before. Yeah, the nice merges. I haven't tried any of those. I've, I've been keeping it mostly vanilla. Alright. Um, let's do this. Let's go with 320 meters immediately. 200 plus 120. Actually, we can have a much longer one, huh? How about we make a super long train for this one? 
just for a change, like, what? 1,000 meters that long. <laughs> it's a bit too much though, isn't it? Especially in the beginning. Can even curve it a little, actually. Yeah, just an experiment, maybe. But even that alone is 455k. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, we can do it like that. No, that's too long. Maybe 800. Yeah, let's go with 800. Just one trap. I think one trap should be enough. Alright, I think that should be good. Let me see. Contour. That should be fine. Okay, and it's the right, <laughs> right type of uh, train now. Yes. Finally. Okay, let's connect that. Fire this one. Okay, engagement, yes, perfect. So that's 800, then it should be 800 as well on this side. Uh, if we connect that, it would be easier to connect on this left side. And I guess we can make this a terminal. Like that, a freight station terminal. I don't think we need to curve it. It's going to be 800 meters, 1.9 million, wow. Okay. And unable to align the terrain. That one works though, but it's 1.7 million. Nope. Doesn't work. If we curve it, still not. Because it's too long and it's too... Ah, yeah, that doesn't right, quite work, unfortunately. It's a bit more picky when it comes to this. Yeah, but we can actually have a shorter platform. I think it should be fine. Let's try 600. Yeah, that one works. That one works pretty nicely. Let's see. Okay. Come on. Find the magic. I was able to find it a while ago, wasn't I? Now it's unable to align. Okay, that one is beautiful, but... Good luck making that work. Find a different curve like that. Construction not possible. Is it still not working? Okay, that one works. But I mean, how the heck do you do that? That kind of curve is not healthy. Okay, that one works as well. Yes, that one. But we'll have to have a very... Like, if you look at the end of the platform over here, it's going to be hitting this uh, station, so I think we have to curve it a little, like so. Yeah. Problem is, if we curve it like that, then it won't be aligned anymore. You can have it like that. But I mean, that's the same thing as having a straight platform. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit picky. I have to admit, it's a bit picky. Let's make it a bit shorter again. 400 maybe. Okay, that one works. Yeah, that one works beautifully. Let's curve it a little. Like so. I think non-curved would be okay already. Aha, interesting. Interesting, we can curve it this way. Like that. So we can avoid the contour somewhat. Like that, 386 only. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. And from here, we say... We connect that way. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. But we can do like... Uh... Let, me, let me just check this out, alright? Experiment. Look at how much that is. If I just connect you here, 32 million. <laughs> if I do that, that's going to be 15.5 million. Wow, look at that. Let's have a look at how that looks. One tunnel, two tunnels, one bridge, two bridges, three tunnels, three tunnels and two bridges. How does that look like? <laughs> no, thank you. No, I think I can do much better than that. It's going to uh, 
remove all our get rid of all our hard-earned money no thank you okay let's see here 1.21 m i yeah, will be destroying fields there's no doubt about it unless we do like a tunnel type of thing no even if we do a tunnel type of thing it's going to remove the the stuff it's going to remove the fields so might as well remove them now Right, that's still flat. That's good. If you look at the elevation, it's still flat. So we can go with that. It's going to be a tunnel already. Let's go with that. And uh, how do we curve here? That's the problem. Uh, this will be a bridge. I don't think it cannot be. There's no way to avoid that. It's going to be expensive, really expensive. If I start from here and try to connect there. Let's see what, 44 million? No, no, one sec. What's happening? 49.7 million and the bridge pillar collision how do you like that okay that doesn't work well, that doesn't work crap I guess we could go straight uh, curve it like here okay let, let's simulate it zoom into build okay to zoom out yeah that one works it's going to be a bridge no doubt about it it's going to be flat, but at least it won't be that. Uh, it won't be that bad. 120. 15.4 million. Wait, huh? I think I did something bad here. Because that looks more expensive than the overall thing that we were planning a while ago. How about that? 5 million. Yeah, I guess that can work. Alright. So expensive, this one. Oh man, and I shouldn't have done that. This bit. Right, connect that there. There you go. That looks better, okay. So now we're on flat surface. Okay, now it's a friendly surface. Good. I will have to destroy a field, that's fine. Why are you becoming a bridge again? Good. Let's connect this again, even though we really don't really need to. Too much slope. Okay, then connect there instead. <laughs> okay, and then we... Uh, this is bad. Yeah, I forgot this is uphill. So this will be uphill, I think. There can be no alternative there unless we make it a tunnel. And we connect all the way there. One sec. 15 million. Man, I should have just done it in the beginning, huh? Well, that's the price. That's the price we have to take. And we, re we need a station here, I remembered. We need a station here. Uh, straight one. That's gonna be problematic. How the heck do I make this work? That one works. If I curve it, like so. Hmm. This is hard. Yeah, that's too deep there. Look at that. We'll have to remake that, I think. Because 
the problem here is this is a bridge elevating like that that's beautiful but then we go down we shouldn't have gone down we shouldn't have gone like that so what I have to do and I forgot about that is I had to prioritize this one that one actually works I don't think we need it that long The longer it is, the harder it will be to place it. Oh man. Bite the bullet. <laughs> okay, now how the heck do we connect that? That will for sure not work. But if you connect like that, that one works. Um, not really. Not really, huh? Okay, one sec. We'll have to delete this one. Unfortunately. Okay, maybe that one. From here, connect there. Okay, that one works. And it looks... Uh, looks a bit silly, actually. Because why would you need to go down just to go up again in the bridge? You know what, let me do it this way, yeah, from there. Oh, that doesn't work though with all the roads. What if I say... If I come from here, sometimes it works. They're in alignment. Okay, fine. Let's start from here instead. But let's say... Yeah, you go straight. Did you see the, the cars turn around? Oh, no more road there. That way. Yeah, so it doesn't go down at all. It's flat. Only the hill is climbing back up. Right, and then we connect here to... Here. That looks perfect. Yeah. That one looks uh, acceptable. It's even going through the city like that. That's awesome looking. Yeah, and we stop here. Actually. Yeah, that's, that's too far. The industries in Rugli are too far. I really need to have uh, like a road in here. Like so. We connect that later, but for now we focus on this one. How to connect these two. Now if you make this like a shortcut way, will you be able to suggest to me the best way to do that? 5.44 million. But it's a tunnel all throughout. You know what? I'll take it. Hmm. Should I? Should I really? I think it's the cheapest way. Imagine doing this in the early game. Our, our funds wouldn't have been able to do that. That one's 5.44M. I think, I think it's the same thing, right? Yeah. Hit the bullet. <laughs> yeah, it's a tunnel all the way here. Good. That's encatchment of this one, right? Okay, so we have connected it. After more than, I don't know, 20 million. Initially, it was just 15 million and I was laughing at it. Now, we spent even more. <laughs> doing that. What happened here? Okay, that's fine. Let's leave that be. Everybody is earning money. Alright, that works. So now we can uh, create a depot here. Let's make a proper depot just for a change. And uh, start it off. Let's say loco is, uh, it has to be fast. and has to be, yeah, it's not that hilly. We made that uh, as flat as we can, but I think it want a very fast train. 100 could work. How about this one, the 460? Reach very fast. Actually, that can work, but look at the running costs here. 
super expensive. For the beginning, might be a bit too much. Could go with the mogul, but no, you know what? Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Gonna make this the longest train ever. Let's just make one train that's super long, and uh, let's add on from there if needed. Tank car. This is the best one, I think, if I remember correctly. But if we have 100 kilometers per hour, then it has to be 120. Oh, that's a very expensive tank car. Let's see if there are others. This one can work as well. This one is cheaper, but less, uh, less lifespan. So I think this one is the way to go. Two, three, four. Let's go with four for now. Set a new line from here to there. And then back here. Yes. So going from the crude oil area, going into this place and then dropping it off there. And then here we make a truck stop to complete the chain. Do we need a large truck station? I don't think so. I just need two. So this one is still in catchment. Yes. Good. So we just uh, have another one here. Can I have it like super short, like just there? Yeah, that works. And uh, one more. Where is it? How do I stop in the center of the industrial areas? I can maybe destroy one like that. No. How about a bus stop? That might work. It's too hilly though. That one won't cover everything. Um, what if I connect this? If I make a road, connect this like that. 735k. No. Hmm. No. Let's let's go with bus stops for now. But if I have many trucks. No, let's let's keep it simple for now. I want to get as much catchment as I can, so we just stop here. Here is the best catchment. Good. Okay. So we create a line from truck stop to that one first and foremost. And then one more from here to that one. Okay. And then let's have a depot over here in the middle. Where? That there? Yeah, that should be fine. I can't start this, our best one. Assign two there, that should be enough. And sign four on this side. Right? That should complete the chain. There we go, we are starting to get crude in here. It's the start of a magnificent new line, I'm hoping. Crossing my fingers. Okay. Let's even this out. That looks ugly as heck. The strength, high. There we go, beautiful. Right, where's the train now? I guess it's under. I don't see the train. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he should be carrying <laughs> super short still. But that's good. He's almost full already. So we can extend him. We can uh, lengthen him as we need to. Yeah, that stop speed right there. He is slowing down bit by bit because... I don't know. Maybe because he's passing through here. Yeah, that's nice. So he's full speed all the way. So we'll carry a bit there. Demand in here is 472, was it? No, it still hasn't uh, reflected, I think. Still hasn't reflected that one. It's in range, right? 
yeah it should be in range of that one that one is in range of that one and uh, the bus stop we placed here is in range of everything yeah so ideally this needs fuel yeah so for the industrial zone buildings the yellow ones so that should be okay producing something yes you are perfect production has begun or right, there you go potential 608 immediately just like that yeah so now we get our first uh, set of fuel going back in here and it's going to be awesome guys let me see how much is the demand here 232 you have 35 in there yeah, i don't think it's that bad can carry 37 our train can have 48 yeah i think that's good enough for now yes this is the start of a hopefully productive line okay let's have a quick check on the other lines while we're at it lots of waiting things Hmm, our trucks are a bit bottlenecked, but that's fine. They can manage. They'll live with it. Good. Over here, lots of con mats waiting. It's fine. Food is also building up in here. Let's have a look at the finances. Everybody is earning. That's awesome. Wow, look at that. Con mats line. Two trains, super big trains, earning 1.46M. If you remembered before, when the, these were trucks, they were earning only around 500K, I think. Now we're, they're earning three times as much. And that's with trains. Beautiful. Right, there's still a lot here. But I think it's, uh, yeah, it's well in line. Yeah, this will be picked up. Yes, that's that's good enough. Awesome. We have a well-oiled machine here, guys. It's taking shape. Definitely taking shape. Good. Alright. So getting back here to our new line. How are things going? Yeah. Looks like we have a full load. And have we begun shipping anything? Yeah, this is what I hate about the tunnels. You can't see them. You have to turn on the icon like that. There we go. And this is this the first delivery. Yes, 21 fuel. There you go. So that should get picked up. Actually, that's interesting. Most of them are going to the raceway. And just one is going to the city. If I got that right. Right, this guy is carrying the first fuel ever that they're experiencing and this one is carrying the first set as well that's pretty cool so this one can increase and then i guess this can upgrade as well that's nice huh Aching. there you go stored five potential 92 oh it's being consumed i see I wish cities had it, had it something like this. Like you see how much is in the city and how much it's being consumed over time. That would have been so nice. So how does the raceway work? Do we see cars actually racing in there? Oh, they're disappearing. <laughs> okay. I see. All right. Fine. How are we doing with the money? Look at that, that fast. That train line is actually earning already. Even if it's super short. Yeah. Now the train is over there. There's 30 plus. I think we'll have to upgrade him next time. Because the potential here is 196. Yeah, this is due for an upgrade already in seven months. Yeah, our train is just sipping through yes good 
dropping off things here, then picking up 34 on the way, so it's almost always full. Man. This is the, the advantage in this kind of line, the, oh, the crude and fuel line. Because they carry, they have the same type of uh, wagon, of car in the train. So you can have like both ways. And that means much more money. This one consumption, nothing stored anymore. Okay, that's fine. That will ramp up, that will ramp up. See here, we have 68 already. So let's upgrade our train. Earning already 317k, wow. So the, we got the most expensive one, the A35, right? And we initially had four wagons. Let's make it eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Replace you, I'll pay 2.48 million. That's no problem. Right? So now it should be able to carry 96 crude, which I think... Oh, this one already upgraded? Did it? No, no, not yet. Still in five months. Actually, I might still have not enough there. Oh, that's just right. 94, 95. Look at how small it is compared to how long the platform is. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. There we go. Upgrade complete. Carrying 80 out of 96. Not sure why he didn't uh, get everything, but yeah, it's sometimes like that. Good. So now this one should be... This one should have fuel already. Maybe they're consuming it already as fast. This one... Yeah, almost done. But yes, we're, we're making money here. We are making money here. Definitely have a lot of improvement. But it's a start, right? It's a start. The trick here is making this multiple track. So we have quite a lo lot of bridges and tunnels, so it's going to be pretty expensive. And yeah, double making this double platform and everything. It's going to require a bit more money, but it should be worth it in the end. Good. I think we're good there. Wow. We need three trains in here now. <laughs> I think we just might. And pretty soon we might need a different uh, set here again. Quadruple track this. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. 133. Okay, this is arriving, so this is going to fill up even more. Ooh, a new truck. Benz. That's amazing. Okay, uh, Benz, what can we upgrade? Do we still have huge truck lines? We do. We have these guys over here and the toaster thingy. Yeah, toaster con mats line. We can upgrade them, although I don't see any deficit here. We can go and upgrade these ones though. Yeah, the, tr the truck lines here. The ones which are helping out with the con mats. So that might ship more stone. But do we need to? I mean, we have much, yeah, we have as much stone as we need already. The problem is shipping the con mats out. Yeah, that's going to cause a bot bottleneck for sure. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to step that up again. But we'll worry about that in the next episode while this new line is uh, forming up, right? This one is now 209. Be able to carry 96 yeah that's fine that is looking good happy bunny and in two months this will upgrade and this will need another upgrade as well so everything flows down yes good all right anyway i'll leave it there guys looks like we are headed for a something nice and for something nice let's uh, stay tuned for it and let me know what you think as always comments feedback are always welcome thanks for watching guys if you did like the video please don't forget hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more updates in the meantime this is the clumsy signing off thank you for watching have a nice day this is quite a nice shot if only they were a bit matching maybe i'll wait for that moment
And I thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.